Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my tennis wife, Laura. I'm here with my cricketing husband, Nathan. And we're here to open up the new Cricket Trading Cards 2018-2019 Big Bash League slash Women's Big Bash League Trading Cards. Right, nothing to do with tennis. <laughs> no, but Laura is watching the tennis in the background. He's staying it's open. over there. Um, so quick, quick, cricket cards. <laughs> so this is Big Bash 8 and the women's Big Bash, uh, the fourth one. Um, it's a new round of cricket cards. Yep. Uh, so let's take a look at what we might find. So there's eight base cards and one insert per pack, which is relatively yep. normal. The base parallel, Rising Rookies, Alex Blackwell's Spotlight, Big Bash Duos, Greatest Six Hitters, Legends Shield and Signature Stars. So we're very unlikely to find one of those. Um, but do you want to jump in and yeah, I'll them just up? Uh, Whoa. coming closer. Yes. All right. So we look like we'll probably see some base parallel cards. Um, they're one in three. They're going to be the most common, or maybe the rising rookies <sighs> get a little luckier. One in four, and we have what, six packs. We have six packs in Deedy Doodly. Yep. Okay, now we're not reading names. If you're new to the channel, there's a very good reason for that. Nathan always gets them wrong. So the basic <laughs> cards have a picture and then some some sort of general stats on them. Mm -hmm. I think the special cards have a bit more on them. Like, uh, is that? Australia, no, that's, that's a, a regular card? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm pretty sure you get one of these silver cards. In every pack? I think so. I don't know, unless that's a base parallel card. Hmm. I don't know, we'll have to keep looking. We have to check, like, when we come back around to the start. Because some of the cards are different. I, yeah, there's a few different designs, so... I um, assume that that shiny one was... The special card? Yeah. We're, yeah. we're going to run with that for the moment, hey? There's probably someone watching just shouting at us going, No, that's not what it is! What are you <laughs> saying? Um, so if that was a base parallel, as I said, that's one in three. Uh, okay. What's next on the, the chopping block? I like these by the way they're very like bright and colorful and i'm glad they've got the women's in there too yeah just like the cricket ones i think uh, the te uh, football i can't think AFL. which sport i'm talking about afl yeah which we will have more of coming hey, it's this the year. alex blackwell spotlight oh uh that is one in six so that's very nice so susie bates and i assume um it's got a sort of paragraph about it from alex blackwell oh hmm, very there nice and shiny can you see it's me? It's got like a, a stamp of approval kind of. Oh, good old Alex. <laughs> I don't know who he is. Yeah, we don't really watch cricket. But we do like trading cards. We do Hence indeed. That's why we're opening these. I know someone at work will probably end up with these, to be honest. Oh, they're going to be very lucky, aren't they? There we go. How uh, lucky was that? All right, next. Uh, these are a little bit tough to open. They are. It makes me very upset. Now, where did we pick these up from? These were from my local news agents in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, I have seen them though at uh, checkouts in Coles and go. possibly Woolworth. So they're fairly easy to get a hold of if mm -hmm. you're in Australia. Probably less so if you're overseas, but then again, you probably got trading cards tailored to your own sort of. Yeah. Hmm. It's a rising star. Uh, rising rookies. Rising rookies. It even says that on there. Um, <laughs> it's a one in four. So it's the second most common. Yeah, the two, two special, like the rare cards are both being women. Yeah. It almost That's looks like unusual. A, yeah, I thought it was like a, a, a sticker or something yeah, about she, it. She looks almost like faded, faded. out because the rest is kind of shiny. What an hmm. unusual like design, design choice. Yeah. Let us know if, if you like all the women being with the like the the men cricket cards like they've mixed them in. Yeah, I I'm, personally I'm sure some do, some don't. So yeah, I personally think it's good. There we go. I, think I do we're... like that a lot of the shots are like action shots of them actually playing too. Yeah, I mean... well, we opened up the netball cards. Uh, I can't remember what it was. The NAB netball or whatever they were. And a lot of the pictures on them weren't really that great. From no. What I recall, so. so right. They look like they've really picked their shots. Very well. Ones. Yeah. And these were $5 each per pack, I should mention. Yeah, it's more expensive than the AFL cards. Uh, hey. Yes, another Mr. Blackwell. Uh, yeah, so another of the one in six. Awesome. There you go. Um, by the way, it actually says um, on the back in brackets. So, like for example, the big uh, the Alex Blackwell spotlight is WBBL. So it's always going to be the women. Yeah. You were saying, oh, it's a it's a. Oh, that's weird. Of, of course, They're only the women. Those ones. So, yeah. So they've got those on 
all of them. So like the Rising Rookies is BBL or WBBL. So hmm. interesting to note. Alright. Where's that signature card? These are not brand new, by the way. These have been floating around for a little they while. They have so. been. Oh, we just sort of got around to them. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Oh, no. Not poor <laughs> Mitchell, Mitchell Stark. Stark. Actually, unless it's the base parallel. That's what we're, yeah, we're going to go with. That's what I we're think. going with. Yeah. That's He's... quite a, a bright card. I like that one. It's such he a stands lead series. out. Yeah. Very much stands out. I, do, I, I like how they stand out, but um, it's a little annoying that they're not all standardised. Like the AFL cards, they they had all. Um, it was either common or it wasn't. Yeah, you could you could tell like all the players had the same border and the colours. So no, I like this better. More variety makes it more interesting. Well, Let us know what you think though. Yeah. All right. Last pack. Lucky last. Um, it does always say, which I think it says on a lot of like the sporting cards, that the stated odds are based on the overall print run. So if you mm. buy like a whole box, you're not guaranteed. No. You know, just yeah, be it's warned. It's weird to get two of the same one in a row, or similar. Yeah, or the same that. Oh, well, three. three of that design card. Four. Oh, wow, that's an unusual pack. Hey, another rising rookie, so that's another one in four. Nice. So it'll be probably pretty well overall. Yeah, I mean, beyond that, we would have been up to a one in nine pack, so we weren't that lucky. <laughs> bom, bom. We didn't buy nine packs. <laughs> and there you go, back to the start. Yeah, so I, I like these. There's a lot of nice variety. I like the design of like the special cards and that. Um, although I do think these Rising Rookie ones are a little bit of an unusual choice because they look a little, a little faded. faded. The actual person, so I don't know. Maybe there's a reason for that that we don't know about. I'm not sure. There you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below if you've been watching the cricket, either the men's or women's or both. Or tennis. I've been watching the tennis. I, if, if there was tennis cards, oh my goodness, I would be just, yeah. Oh, Williams that would is be about awesome. to come out. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and check back tomorrow. We have a video every single day. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.